All right, here we are out in the wind. Windy today, but it's going to be in the 50s today. It's going to be a pretty nice day, really. Don't know how many more days we're going to have like that. So you can see we're sitting on the big mower here. What we're doing today is uh, we're going over to the mango farm today and we're going to mow all around that place. Um, lots of times where, in the, where we don't plant and around the edge of the fields it all grows up in weeds and and uh, we're going to go over and we're going to knock that down. We're going to mow a couple of the big hillsides over there and um, I don't know we got 190 acres over there we're going to mow around here this afternoon. Um, pretty nice day out really and and uh we're gonna take advantage of it uh get you in my pocket here and we'll do a little walk around and get ready to head that way all right we got the the mighty batwing mower on here you guys remember i bought this thing this spring and it's a 3180 uh series three woods batwing mower it's got the airplane tires on it and pretty decent mower we did get a new set of blades with it but we're still operating on the old blades just because i haven't taken the time to put them on yet and that's just going to be a winter job when we get this thing in and do a little bit of work on it um has been greased we're ready to go on that uh people did comment that i didn't have my rollover protective um whatever you want to call it rollover protective structure i do believe is what they call it um in the up position now safety first i however will not be wearing the seat belt though i don't wear seat belts too hard to get out of them if i am hanging upside down i will take my chances using taking the forks today uh went over there a little bit ago and drove around it and um didn't really see anything reason that i needed to take my bucket over so we're just going to take the forks over today but uh there it is. We're going to use the big TN75A to do the mowing with, and and I do believe we're ready to go. So we'll see you at the field. All right, we just pulled into the mango farm here, and I'm just going to show you a little bit of what we're mowing before we actually start mowing, and I'm going to explain to you about some of these trees here. All right, now last spring when I was planting this over here, I talked about having an excavator come in and do some work. Now the excavator isn't going to be doing any digging. It's all these trees down through this fence row right here. Now we're going to be mowing down along these fence row here underneath all these trees. And you see we got limbs laying here and all that. There's a deer back there running around. Lots of wildlife over here, a lot of deer, a couple of really nice bucks. But I want the excavator to come in and I want him to tear all these limbs off. These aren't our trees. These are the neighbor's trees. They're on the other side of the fence. And what happens is, is these limbs grow over into our fields here. Now, it's really not hurting anything, but we just keep farming farther and farther away from the fence row. And then these limbs, um, scratch the machines up, scratch a combine. Uh, of course, we always think we can get one more row, but uh, what we need is that we need that fence to be exposed. So we got a place that we can mow up against and we just need the limbs out of there. It'd be nice if the neighbors would take the trees down, but I can see that isn't gonna happen. So we're gonna have the excavator come in, rip all these limbs off and uh, get it cleaned up like that. And so we're gonna mow down through here and then I'll get you back when we get down here to some other places that we're gonna mow and probably some other places that I'm gonna have the excavator work also.
needs to go. See how they stick all out now? My motor's 15 foot wide, and we can get another six rows of corn almost down there. I'll wait for these trees. All right, while I was mowing, bent something underneath the mower here. This piece right here. This piece is broken loose from up here and it's bent in and the blade's coming around and pounding it pretty hard. So I called Kylie, she's bringing, the, uh, she's bringing a big crescent wrench and a piece of pipe over. And we're gonna bend this out of the way for right now so we can keep mowing up here where we are and get this finished. I think we ought to be able to bend it out of the way all right. So she's on her way. Here's Kylie. Bringing tools. All right, heading back to the field. It's the next day. Um, I got freezing cold yesterday, so I called Corky and she came over and picked me up and we left the tractor sit over here in the field. I uh, got up this morning, it was 18 degrees. I am not ready for winter and I sure wasn't ready for this morning, but uh, it's we're back up to 36 degrees and I just have to mow around this 80 acre field that's left over here. Um, it's a mango farm, so we're going to pull in the field here. I'm about out of fuel. Kylie's got to put, Kylie's going to dump some uh, diesel in the tractor for me. Enough to get me finished here and to get us back home. So we're going to pull in and we're going to get this going and we'll get you back when we get to doing something.
Well, we're finished. We've successfully mowed around 190 some acres worth of fields. Four different fields over here. So, but right now we're back here at the tile where we uh, put the new tile in across the field. Now we get the daunting task of cleaning the mower off. Well, I lost my hat. Lost my logger weight hat. Phelps the semi drove by and blew it off of me. I wasn't gonna stop along the road to get it because I'm like frozen from the ride home. It's cold out, 36 degrees, and I was riding right into the wind most of the way home. So hat's just laying down here along the road. It's pretty close to home, so. I'll ram down here and get it. Yep, right here. There it is. All right. Turn around here in the field, back to the house and warm up. Then I got a fair board meeting. Hopefully get some lunch. It's lunch time, so. Finished with the mowing now and uh, get the mower cleaned up and get it put away and head on to the next project. So, thanks for watching, everybody.